Infinity, just the word alone can make our mind spin. But what if I told you that in mathematics, there's more than one kind of infinity? And what if you could count past infinity? Sounds impossible, right? Well, in today's video, we're diving deep into the mind-bending world of infinities, transfinite numbers, and what it means to go beyond the infinite. Get ready because this journey will take us through some of the most profound concepts in mathematics and philosophy. Let's start with the basics. Infinity isn't just a really, really large number. It's a concept that represents something unbounded, something that goes on forever. You can think of it as the idea that no matter how high you count, there's always more. But here's where it gets interesting. There isn't just one infinity. In mathematics, there are actually different types and sizes of infinity. For example, the infinity of natural numbers, one, two, three, and so on, is just the beginning. Mathematicians call this countable infinity because you can theoretically list all these numbers, even if the list never ends. But not all infinities are created equal. So, what do we mean by different types of infinity? Let's break it down. The first level of infinity we encounter in mathematics is called Aleph Null, or Aleph Zero. This is the size of the set of all natural numbers. You can think of it as the smallest infinity. But then, we have what's called uncountable infinity. Imagine trying to list all the numbers between zero and one. Not just the decimals like 0.1 or 0.01, but every possible number. This set, known as the real numbers, is much larger than the set of natural numbers. Mathematicians denote this with the cardinality of the continuum, often represented by the letter C. This discovery was made by the mathematician Georg Cantor, who showed that there are indeed different sizes of infinity. The set of real numbers between any two points on a number line is uncountably infinite, meaning it's a larger kind of infinity than the set of natural numbers. This was a revolutionary idea and led to the creation of what we now call transfinite numbers. But can you really count past infinity? The answer is yes, if you consider something called ordinal numbers. Ordinal numbers aren't just about quantity, they describe position or order in a sequence. When we talk about counting to infinity, we usually think of the first infinite number as omega, which is the smallest infinite ordinal. Once you reach omega, you don't stop there. You can keep going, omega plus one, omega plus two, and so on. This is how you start to count beyond infinity. In fact, you can have Juan Mars nomega plus yomega, which mathematicians write as dash nomega jasi dot tududarshiner, and even Joshua Nomega dot Nomega, an even larger ordinal. These numbers are mind-boggling because they represent stages or levels of infinity. It's a way of saying that even within infinity, there's structure, there are steps and stages that go beyond what we initially understand as infinite. Now let's dive deeper into the world of transfinite numbers, which Georg Cantor introduced. Beyond a left zero lies a left one, the next level of infinity, which is the cardinality of the set of all countable ordinals. And beyond that, a left two, and a left three, and so forth. Each of these represents a larger and larger infinity, but it doesn't stop there. In set theory, mathematicians explore even larger infinities known as large cardinals, which have properties that are so vast they stretch the limits of our imagination. These large cardinals are used to understand the foundations of mathematics and explore the very nature of infinity itself. For example, some large cardinals are so large that their existence can't even be proven within the standard framework of mathematics. They exist in a realm of mathematical theory that's still being explored and debated. Beyond transfinite numbers, there's another fascinating area of mathematics called non-standard analysis, which deals with hyper-real numbers. These include not just infinities, but also infinitesimals, numbers smaller than any positive real number, but still greater than zero. In this framework, you can have numbers that are infinitely large, yet still be part of a continuum that includes the real numbers we're familiar with. Hyper-real numbers provide a way to count or measure quantities that go beyond the standard real number system, opening up a new world of mathematical possibilities. But what does all this mean beyond mathematics? The concept of counting past infinity has deep philosophical implications. In theology, 
Infinity is often associated with the divine or the eternal. In cosmology, it raises questions about the nature of the universe, whether it's infinite in size, time, or both. If the universe is infinite, what does it mean to count its contents? Are there infinite versions of ourselves in an infinite multiverse? These questions push the boundaries of not just mathematics, but our understanding of reality itself. So, can you count past infinity? In a sense, yes, but not in the way we usually think about counting. Infinity is a concept that opens up endless possibilities, both in mathematics and in our understanding of the universe. From ordinal numbers that extend beyond infinity to the mind-expanding ideas of transfinite numbers and hyper-real numbers, we've just scratched the surface of what infinity can mean. As we continue to explore these ideas, we realize that infinity isn't just a single point or destination, it's a journey, a concept that invites us to think bigger, imagine more, and explore the infinite possibilities that lie beyond the boundaries of what we know. Thanks for joining us on this journey through the infinite and beyond. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment below with your thoughts on infinity. Until next time, keep exploring.